Hey, Dad. Hey, Ispy, how are you, sweet boy? Very good, how are you? Good, 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 thanks. Happy we're at Purple Day. Happy we're at Purple Day to you. A very exciting day. Do you remember the day I came out to everyone? Yes, I do remember that day. I've told lots of people about that day. Yeah, I remember it vividly. I was thinking about what I was going to say and I was practising in the car on the way home, talking to myself. And I remember when we were having dinner on the couch and um, I was getting the the confidence to tell everyone and I did and it was just like ripping a band-aid off. It was so good. It was funny because we were sitting there doing the old TV dinner and when you said something about, oh, I've got something really important to tell you, like I swallowed and thinking, oh, what's he going to tell us? And then when you said, oh, I'm gay, I'm, yep, okay, no worries, we kept eating. Like, <laughs> you know, like it was no biggie. As, as you know, as we've said, we've always, we always knew or, you know, known for a long time. And yeah, it was, it was a funny moment. We've told, I've told lots of people about that night, just the fact that, you know, it's, um, it must have been hard for you to, you know, finally come out, but, you know, it was, it was just not, not, didn't phase us at all. It was just, you know, yep, let's just keep eating. It's all good. Um, yeah, it was, it was a funny night. It was, and I don't know why I was so scared and apprehensive about it. In hindsight, it was a big non event, which was really wonderful. Um, I think, like, because, you know, we have such a close relationship and you always worry what, you know, your parents would think. So I think it was just that not knowing um, the unknown that was scary, but, Obviously, you've all been just amazing and still supporting me throughout ever since. So it's been just amazing. Like, couldn't ask for a better family and support. Um, but, and even all my friends as well, like, they've all been amazing. It was all good and it was obviously a relief for you on the day. So, and um, it was a relief for us that you finally told us because we were always just waiting to be told. <laughs> we knew it was coming yeah. sometime, but we just didn't know when. <laughs> In front of the dinner table or in front of the television dinner that was all that was all good because we're so supportive of you and still love you regardless so and it was going to make no difference and i know how lucky i am to have friends and family that are supportive because i know it's not the case for everyone some people have a really hard time coming out and just can't don't have the confidence in themselves and are worried about what people would think um, about them uh, when they do come out but um if if they're in that state of mind they need to know that there is the support out there for them and that so many other people have been in their shoes and it is when you can be your true self and be on the other side and open and honest with everyone it is a big relief and a big weight off your shoulders yeah um, it's probably hard for the youngsters because you know they've all got and i can't speak for all the families around the place but you know they they need to have the confidence and and know that they're going to be valued in society and they they've got they've got support mechanisms they can fall to and you know maybe you know just you know you probably hesitated to tell us thinking not knowing how we're going to react but you know a lot of families um will be supportive and and you know they've just got to have the confidence and courage to to be be themselves because um you know we would have you know we would have been no different had you told us in grade 10 11 12 whatever it's um you know we we love you no differently to you know before or after you told us so so, you know, I'm sure that would, would be applicable to a lot of, um, you know, younger people out there that are obviously struggling either with, you know, whether it's their identity or their sexuality, you know, they've just got to, I suppose, I know it's hard, but it's, it's, they've just got to try and take that step and, and um, you know, put themselves out there, I suppose, and, and, you know, and hope that it goes well for them. Absolutely. It is about taking a big step and starting the conversation. Um, if it's not with their family, with their friends, those that, you know, they can... Uh, know that they have the support with them. Um, yeah, it is very important to, to take those steps. And I've been so lucky as well, um, working for an organisation that um, has such a strong strategy for diversity and inclusion. And I feel very safe and welcomed at work and have had no issues at all being myself. And I'm also very lucky to have two openly gay colleagues as well. So it's um, really great to be able to just be myself and bring my true self to work and um, helping the community um, without having to hide who I am. Um, it's been really, really amazing. So I feel yeah. very lucky, privileged to be in that position. Yeah, you've really struck gold there in that work group you've got down there. And you know the uh, that, uh, the QPS, it gets better video. Remember that one? You saw that one yeah. as well. Like that's just such a compelling 
evocative video and it's just fantastic but it sort of made me feel better after watching that knowing that you know you'll be okay but you know Absolutely. obviously you're a strong smart resilient person um that you know i know you're going to be able to cope but um you know like it's just just one of those things that you know you just always have in the back of your head but you'll be you'll be good starting out in your new career absolutely yeah new south wales police has been so supportive and even through the training process they've been um, giving us the opportunity to learn about diversity inclusion within the organization and it just feels so comforting knowing that i have that support around me um, by the organization and i feel like those um, colleagues that might be in a position where they feel like they can't be their true self. They know that they have the support there if they just reach out and ask for it. So it's been an amazing experience thus far. And um, I feel very grateful for all my friends and family for being so supportive of me. And um, I'm, yeah, can't, can't say anything else. It's just fantastic. And I love everyone so much. It's so good. What are you doing for work at Purple Day today, Isaiah? It's a bit hard with COVID running amok in New South Wales to have any big celebrations, but we're just having conversations within the station and within the community locally, um, just raising awareness, really. How about you? Cool. I've made Wear It Purple cupcakes. Oh, today. really? Cool. Yeah. Tried to blend the, the coloured dyes to make purple and did purple cream, purple cake. Um, yeah, so I'll share them amongst um, the crew and, you know, give them a bit of a Wear It Purple day spiel and um yeah hopefully they'll they'll go over well i'm sure they're very tasty yeah hope so fingers crossed <laughs> well i'll let you go then enjoy the rest of your day no worries and, thank um, you too. stay safe thank you love you love you I'll too talk to you soon sounds good dad bye see you later see you sweet boy bye